America's labor market is as tight as ever. U.S. businesses have added millions of jobs since the Great Recession, but there's one industry that is experiencing a labor shortage, agriculture. And now some farmers are worried that Donald Trump's immigration policies could make the problem even worse. Aditi Roy reports from Gilroy, California. This here is 70 acres. Pete Aiello and his dad have been farming for 40 years on their 5,000 acre operation based in Northern California. But lately, they've had a growing problem. We're leaving some crop behind. Uh, we're not able to keep up with harvest. The Aiellos don't have enough workers to harvest their crops. They're not alone. Across the country, farmers are facing a labor shortage that some are calling a crisis. Of course, it's a financial burden. Uh, you have to make difficult decisions sometimes as far as having two fields to harvest, but only being able to harvest one of them. Partnership for a New American Economy, a bipartisan immigration reform group, reports between 2002 and 2014, the number of full-time agricultural workers has dropped by 146,000 people, resulting in a loss of about $3 billion in crop production. And the American Farm Bureau Federation has come out with videos showing farmers forced to destroy crops or let them rot in the fields because they simply don't have enough workers to pick them. Last year, I had to do something I'd never done before, destroy 10 acres of good squash. And now some farmers are worried the problem will get even worse if Donald Trump makes good on his campaign promise to deport undocumented workers. We are going to triple the number of ICE deportation officers. More than half of the country's agricultural workers are undocumented, according to the USDA. The American Farm Bureau estimates an immigration policy that focuses solely on enforcement could cost the country $60 billion in agricultural production. We are at the point in the industry that we're either importing our labor or we're importing our food. And farmers and ranchers across America want to provide this locally grown fruits and vegetables to our consumers. But we have to have access to a legal and stable workforce to get that done. Pete Aiello calls the current immigration system broken. He says he's watching and waiting to see if Trump can fix it. We need to come up with a system that works first and then secure borders. On the solution side, the American Farm Bureau says the current temporary guest worker program, the H-2A visa program, is full of bureaucratic challenges and delays. The group believes any effective immigration policy needs to reform that system. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Aditi Roy, Gilroy, California.